Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Denara Casco, I am a professional designer and pastry chef. I make silicone molds for cakes and I share them with everyone. In this video I would like to show you my silicone molds, explain how to work with them and answer your questions. My first mold I made in 2015 using 3D printer and right now we have more than 100 different designs. We have factory made production and handmade production. They are different but similar at the same time. Let's open the box with this mold and check what we have inside. So here we have mold and recipe. This recipe I created specially for this mold, so in every different mold you will have different recipe. The mold is made of food grade silicone and you can put inside your cake. Basically these molds are made for mousse cakes, so it means that you have to pour some mousse inside and then you have to put different layers. In general you can freeze anything you want in this mold, but of course it's better to use it for, especially for mousse cakes. So when you just bought it you have to wash it, of course. Uh, you can use dishwasher or just um, wash it by your hands and then you can work with this. To have perfect result you have to freeze the cake inside the mold. If you have any troubles with appearance of your cake after you take out the mold from your cake it means that the temperature in your freezer not cold enough so you have to find how to make your freezer colder. I recommend you to have at least minus 25 celsius in the freezer and keep it overnight to freeze it well. It's very very important. Also for perfectly looking cake you have to work fast. It meant that when your cake is frozen you take it out from the freezer and you have to unmold it very quickly. If you keep it outside at room temperature for more than two minutes you will um, destroy edges. Be sure it will be not perfect anymore. So in this case it's better to freeze it again and then take it out from the mold. About baking process. I advise you to make everything step by step. At the beginning you have to prepare all the layers like a sponge, crunchy, jelly, anything you need to put inside. You have to freeze it, then you have to make the mousse. You pipe the mousse, your mousse need to be uh, liquid enough to go everywhere and do not make any air pockets, air bubbles. You can shake the mold with the mousse like this. You can try to put mousse everywhere with toothpick or with spoon or something. Just be sure that mousse is everywhere and then you put inside your frozen layers. After you freeze the cake inside the mold, you don't need to use it or eat it immediately. You can freeze a few cakes in different molds and keep it in these molds around one month. Or you can freeze them in the mold, then you can uh, take it out from the mold, just wrap it with the film very well and keep it in freezer wrapped with the film also around one month. This mold you can use for baking. In this case, after baking process, you need to freeze this cake inside the mold. Totally the same like with frozen cakes, otherwise you will destroy all ages, break ages during unmolding process. Here I have recipe booklet. This is a step-by-step -step recipe. It's very convenient and easy to make uh, this recipe one by one. Here we have ingredients and explanation what to do and all the recipes are very different. What is the difference between handmade mold and factory made mold? In general there is no difference. So you can make a here or here, it's up to you and depends on our designs. But this silicone is transparent, it's quite soft, it's softer and um, it's just the matter of silicone, you know. So you can use these or these and uh, it depends on design. Some of our molds we make at the factory and some of them we made uh, in Ukraine. This is totally handmade process, so we cast them one by one and it just uh, depends on our design, nothing special. 
We have molds different sizes and this one is for individual cakes. In this banana mold I have banana mold for cake. Also we have special mold for fillings just to freeze everything that you need to put inside and we have cutter for sponge just to cut your sponge easier and it fit to the mold. And of course I have banana cake recipe here. Also it's very important do not use sharp knives with our silicone molds because you can easily cut it and it's better to keep it flat. You can use our boxes for it and you can work with our molds many years. Today we have dozens of different designs, we have very powerful and friendly community where people share recipes and their designs. You can find inspiration on our social networks uh, pages and you can create your own design with my molds, just spray it with any color you want or uh, glaze it, add some chocolate decoration or use it even without uh, and you can create truly pieces of art something special something surprising and uh, my main idea is to create pastry design so uh, when you so when people see the cake made using this mold they can't understand what is it and it's something special attractive bright and colorful it looks like piece of art but then you cut and you have inside this beautiful texture beautiful tender layers crunchy and sweet and sour and for people it's very interesting and with my mold you can create your own piece of art and be popular at your community surprise your family or your customers and create your own design. Bake your own cake with my mold, make your real piece of art and be a part of my pastry community. Thank you for watching, thank you for working with my molds and see you!